In the shadow of space, around which the sun orbits, lies a planet that most people can't see, a tiny ball of hot rock constantly being blasted by the sun's rays. Mercury, the innermost planet of the solar system, has long been overshadowed by the majesty of Mars, the seductiveness of Venus and the complexity of the air giants. However, recent revelations have changed this view. Data from the powerful James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered evidence that Mercury may not be as lifeless as we once thought. In fact, this world may have survived and it seems that it is not a bad thing. A world close to the Sun, where the heat sinks, could support life in the past. How is this possible? What secrets are hidden under the pumice surface? Join us on a fascinating journey into the forgotten world of Mercury, where new discoveries challenge everything we thought we knew about this small and mysterious planet. These findings have influenced the scientific community. Once Earth was thought to be dead, Mercury may be more powerful than we thought. The tape explores the important signs that Mercury is a slow planet, with liquid oceans, a magnetic field that protects life, and an atmosphere that is capable of sustaining life. What caused the wasteland and destruction we see today? The answers could change our understanding of planetary evolution and life in the solar system. For centuries, Mercury was considered one of the most dangerous places in the solar system. Surface temperatures dropped to over 800 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and to less than 300 degrees Fahrenheit at night. The thin atmosphere, or exosphere, consists mostly of atoms blown by the solar wind. To the naked eye, Mercury looks like an unforgiving wasteland. But under the harsh conditions and rocky outcroppings, something amazing has been discovered. What if Mercury had a sun full of life? What if there were oceans, lakes, and rivers long before there was a very warm planet? What if the atmosphere was thick enough to shield life from the sun's rays? These are not just wild ideas. These are the questions scientists are being prompted by recent findings. The James Webb Space Telescope has opened a new window into Mercury's past. Even though the current world may seem lifeless, there are signs that the past is stronger. Evidence of ancient water sources, a magnetic field capable of sustaining life, and evidence of a dense atmosphere have been discovered. These findings provide a fascinating insight into the age of Mercury. This mystery is deepened by exploring the ancient planet Mercury and exploring the forces that shaped its fate. The idea that Mercury could be habitable at first seems absurd at first. In fact, the closer the planet is to the Sun, the stronger the Sun's rays are. However, the evidence is strong. One of the most important was the discovery of ice in the polar craters of Mercury. How can ice exist on a planet that has experienced extreme heat? The answer lies in Mercury's unique axial tilt, or lack of it. Mercury's axis is nearly perpendicular to its orbit, which means that some areas near the poles are always in the shade, not exposed to the sun's hot rays. These dark craters are cold enough to trap water ice that has held them for billions of years. But sugar is not the only symptom. Scientists have also found evidence of past volcanic activity that can release water vapor into the atmosphere. This also suggests that mercury was thicker in the past, which may have held liquid water on the surface. The existence of water is one of the most important elements of life, and where there is water, life cannot be denied. Mercury's frontal atmosphere, with volcanic winds and shielding magnetic fields, may have created a temporary window for habitability. Further support for this theory is the discovery of carbon atoms outside of mercury. Organic molecules are the building blocks of life, and their presence raises interesting questions about Mercury's past. Although the current conditions on Mercury are extremely dangerous for life, it is possible that life arose during a milder period in the history of the planet, before the atmosphere and magnetic field disappeared. Mercury's history is fascinating and complicated. The surface of this planet is covered in craters that are the result of billions of years of impacts. Some of these craters are very large, such as the Caloris Basin, which is more than 960 miles in diameter. This massive impact structure is one of the largest structures in the solar system, and its formation is a catastrophic event that will reshape the planet's surface and possibly impact it. 
Beneath the surface, there are many mysteries in Mercury's core. Earth is different, its core is just a piece of metal, Mercury is said to be liquid iron. This metal core creates a magnetic field, although it is weaker than Earth's. What's puzzling about Mercury's magnetic field is that it's so big and so close to the Sun, it shouldn't exist at all. There are theories about Mercury's constant motion, with some researchers suggesting that the planet has a special cooling process or a history of interaction with the Sun that affected its magnetic properties. Mercury's volcanism is another fascinating event in Earth's history. The planet is covered in ancient plains, like a moon on the moon. These plains are evidence of massive volcanic eruptions that took place billions of years ago, reshaping the Earth's surface and creating a host environment. Some features of Mercury's volcanism appear to be relatively young in geological terms, suggesting that the planet may have been active more recently than previously thought. One of the most confusing aspects of Mercury is its magnetic field. It is the only rocky planet other than Earth to have a global magnetic field, but the field is much weaker. This magnetic field was first discovered by the Mariner 10 spacecraft in the 1970s, and scientists were amazed. Given the small size of Mercury and the fact that the core has cooled, it is difficult to explain the nature of the magnetic field. New data from the MESSENGER mission and the James Webb Space Telescope have provided new insights into this mystery. One of the things that allows Mercury to cool faster than expected is that it can maintain its magnetospheric dynamo. Another theory suggests that interaction with the Sun's strong magnetic field maintains Mercury's field. The solar wind may play a role in powering the planet's core and maintaining its magnetic dynamo. This interaction between Mercury and the Sun's magnetic field is not yet fully understood, but it may be the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe's structure. The weakening of the magnetic field also affects Mercury's ability to hold an atmosphere. A stronger magnetic field would have protected Mercury's atmosphere from being stripped away by the solar wind, but the planet's weaker magnetic field was not enough to prevent this. Understanding the evolution of Mercury's magnetic field over time is critical to piecing together the history of the planet and determining whether the planet could support life. The surface of Mercury is a symbol of the violent past of the universe. Almost every inch of the planet is covered in cracks, a record of the many impacts it has experienced over billions of years. But inside these pits are other secrets, a long, rock-like ridge called a lobular cavity. The vegetation, which can stretch hundreds of miles and rise up to thousands of feet, is believed to be caused by the cooling of the planet and shrinking over time. As Mercury's core cooled, the planet slipped and moved the surface, creating these giant rocks. These sharps are not limited to geography. They also have important clues about the internal structure and history of the world. Some of the sharp points are still relatively small, indicating that Mercury's interior is still active, albeit small. This is another piece of the puzzle that complicates our understanding of Mercury's evolution. How powerful is a young and old planet? Another interesting feature of Mercury's surface is the presence of irregular, shallow, features unique to Mercury. These cavities are thought to form when minerals near the surface dissolve, leaving empty cavities. How these craters formed is still a mystery, but there is evidence that Mercury is not as terrestrial as we once thought. One of the most significant changes in Mercury's history was the loss of its atmosphere. Although the planet is still a planet, a collection of atoms blown off the surface by solar radiation, the planet is far from a primitive atmosphere. Early in its history, Mercury had a larger atmosphere, possibly due to volcanic eruptions. This wind provided a level of protection from the sun's radiation and allowed water to form on the surface. But over time, as Mercury's magnetic field weakened and the sun's solar wind became stronger, the planet's atmosphere began to disappear. This process, known as a gas explosion, exposed Mercury to the harsh conditions of space. With no atmosphere to protect it, Mercury's surface is a wasteland, scorched by the sun and blasted by micrometeorites. The loss of the atmosphere was a turning point in Mercury's history. This marked the transition from a habitable world to the harsh, airless environment we see today. 
However, remnants of Mercury's former atmosphere can still be found in the polar regions, where ice has been exposed. Studying these ice deposits and elements in Mercury's atmosphere can help you understand the past of the planet and the processes by which the atmosphere evolved. The question that hangs over all these observations is whether Mercury can support life. Although the current conditions of the planet are unsustainable, evidence suggests that Mercury was more hospitable in the past. The presence of water ice, organic molecules and a dense atmosphere indicate that life may have appeared within a short window of Mercury's history. If life existed on Mercury, it would have to adapt to the harshest conditions on Earth. Microbial life, like the extremophile on Earth, was able to survive in the shadow of the planet or under the surface of the Earth, as the temperature was more favorable. In addition, life may have existed in ancient oceans and lakes that erupted on Mercury's surface before the atmosphere disappeared. This is of course an opinion. There is no direct evidence for life on Mercury, and the current state of the planet means that we will not find fossils or signs of past life anytime soon. However, the possibility that Mercury is inhabited cannot be ruled out. As we continue to explore the solar system, we may one day discover that life exists in places we didn't expect, even our closest neighbors. Of the sun looking forward, Mercury will remain an object of fascination and mystery. Future missions, such as the European Space Agency's BepiColombo project, are set to explore the planet in more detail. BepiColombo, launched in 2018 and expected to arrive at Mercury in 2025, will provide new data on the planet's surface, atmosphere, and magnetic field. The findings could answer long-standing questions about Mercury's past and its ability to support life. As our understanding of Mercury grows, so does our understanding of the entire solar system. The more we learn about our neighboring planets, the better we understand how our planet was formed and what conditions are necessary for life to exist. Because of its unique position in the solar system and its enigmatic history, Mercury is a window into the forces that shape the universe. And, perhaps, the most important thing is to understand the origin of life in the most unlikely places.